What's up everybody, my name's Matt and I'm here today to talk about the Serato Sample 1.4 update which adds beat grid editing. Let's get right into it. You may be familiar with beat grids already if you use Serato DJ or Serato Studio, but if you're not familiar, I'm going to break it down for you. Beat grids are a visual representation of the bars and beats on a track in 4-4 timing. The BPM, or beats per minute, will determine what the song's tempo is, and the beat grid is a visual breakdown of the bars and beats on the track. Most popular music is in 4-4 timing, and you can count along to a track like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. On the beat grid, you'll see a new number every 4 counts. This is to signify a bar, which is a measure of 4 counts. So let's load up a song and Serato Sample and see how we can edit it. Alright, so this song is analyzed at 96.87 beats per minute, and that's already incorrect, so I'm going to click on this Grid Edit button right here, and I can actually either tap in the time that I want, or I can just, you know, edit in the time that I want, which I know is around 67. And already you can see on this track, the beat grid should start on this, this red transient right here, which is the downbeat. So I'm just going to drag the track um, and get that white line as close to that transient as I can. I can zoom in and just get it there. And then with these options that I've got here, I can set grid start, I can adjust, slip, set, clear, or clear all. So first thing I want to do is clear this grid off completely. So I'll just press clear all. And now I can set the grid where I want it to start. I can either use the set or set grid start button, but since I'm wanting to start it right here, I'm going to use the set grid start button. And there you can see indicated with a red line and a 1 is the first downbeat. Now I can turn on the metronome and see if the rest of the track is in time. And you can see it's already fallen off a little bit. So I can use these adjust parameters right here to stretch out the grid or contract the grid depending on which way I want to go. So I'm going to use the right adjust button to stretch it out. And you'll see those lines now line up with the transients on the track. And now if we play along, you hear the metronome play in time with the beat. And as you can see as it's going along, it still needs some more adjustment. So I can also use the set button to set the tempo markers throughout the track, like so. And I can continue to go throughout this track and set those downbeat markers as I want, or um, remove them if I need to. So if I got one wrong, I can always go back here, get that playhead just as close as I need to, and press clear. And it will only clear that tempo marker and leave the rest unaffected. Beat grids are saved to the file unless it is locked or does not have write permissions. This means you can load it up again in Serato Sample, Serato DJ, or Serato Studio and have the same information every time. Another way I like to use beat grids is using the slip function. And the slip function is particularly good for things like acapellas. So I'm going to give you a quick demo on how I like to do that. So I'm going to load in a song from my man, Guilty Simpson. On this song it's hard to find the downbeat since the singer doesn't say anything on the one. I'm back with a life hack. She applied the ice pack with a nice rack. So I'm going to edit the grid by pressing grid edit. And I'm going to clear the grid. And I'm going to set a downbeat using the set grid start button. Now I'll turn the metronome on. And I already know this tempo is exactly 88 beats per minute. So I'm just going to input that. And I can press play. I'm back with a life hack, she applied. So I know this acapella isn't going to change in tempo, so I can actually use the slip button to move the whole grid across as one thing. So I'm going to move the grid to just to the right. 
See if I can get these transients to line up with the lines and the grid. And let's see how that sounds. I'm back with a life hack. She applied the ice pack with a nice rack. A little R&R &R from saying bars. And then we took shots for a nightcap. Nike sat right by the door where I entered. And just using that, those slip functions, I was able to nudge it to the right to line up with the, with the uh, acapella. So let's get back to here and hear how it sounds in time. I'm back with a life hack. She applied the ice pack with a nice rack. A little R&R &R from saying bars. And then we took shots for a nightcap. Nike sat right by the door where I entered. Uh -huh. My contribution will be remembered. True. It's hard to set. Sounds pretty good to me. So I'm just going to press save. And let's hear how it sounds a long time with the beat. Set a cue point here first. I'm back with a life hack. She applied the ice pack with a nice rack. A little R&R &R from saying bars. And then we took shots for a nightcap. Nike sat right by the door where I entered. My contribution will be remembered. It's hard to set rules with pretenders. It's usually the dudes with agendas. Same ones that lose at the end. You know that safe? It's all good. However, if I already used this in Serato DJ and I wanted to pull in my Serato DJ cue points, I can do that as well. Just click this drop down menu here and click Serato DJ. And when you press Serato DJ, you'll have your three DJ cue points that you used. I'm a whole bel I'm and you can see I already had a cue point set for that, which is another way I like to use the, uh, the beat grids. If you already know where your downbeat is, you can just press grid and set your downbeat on that cue and off you go. So there you have it, that's Serato Sample 1.4 with added beat grid editing functionality. Hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll be back really soon with some more videos to help your workflow with Serato products. Peace.